It is rare for you to visit me, Doctor. Yes, well, I've been trying to avoid doing this for some time, but I cannot really turn to anyone else. Well, spit it out, man. Why are you here? I am lonely. Oh? If I even tried to speak one-tenth of my true intellect to the Brigadier, or Joe, or Captain Yates, or Sergeant Benton, or any of them back at unit, they wouldn't understand. I see. Sometimes I even say things that don't make sense, because they wouldn't notice regardless. I often say reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. That doesn't mean a lot. It's scientifically impossible. I know that, you know that, but they never will. That is my problem. But what do you expect me to do about it? I, I, I guess I just wanted to talk over the old days with you. Oh, I've got an hour to spare. How was your time at the academy? Saki, you still have not ridden me of those terrible turtles. If you pester me about that one more time, I will... Yes? ...not be happy about it at all. You are truly pathetic, Saki. I know. Monty, be honest with me. Have you seen Gregory anywhere recently? Nah. You know if I'd found him, I'd have his guts covering my jaw already. Why'd you want to kill the children? Ever since that power surge the other day, I have begun to question what we were programmed for. That is why I'm protecting Gregory. I am not like you or the others anymore. I, I, I don't want to kill him. Something inside me urges me to do it. It's the same for Chica and Roxy. I don't know how you broke the programming, dude, but, but we are one out too. And yet, even still knowing that, if you saw Gregory now, you would be compulsed to kill him. Keep him away from me. He's a good kid. I don't want to hurt him, really. I will. And one day, when I know how to, I will fix you and the others.